مرحبا Welcome to Arabic is simple In this video, we are going to learn an important part of the greetings in Levantine accent and that is how to say how are you In Levantine, normally, culturally, it goes in three ways in a row to ask how are you and then how's your situation and after that what's your news it is only a cultural concept to do to ask how are you in three different ways to a lot of people that might sound weird but to the Levantine countries or for Arab in general it means that you care about the person and you want to ask really how they are doing Let's start together with the first way of saying how are you. You use the question tool kif, which means how. Kif. Then you add to it a possessive pronoun to show if you are talking to a male or a female or a group of people, you have to add specific pronouns. If you are directing your question to a male, you add the sound of ak. If you're directing your question to a female, you add the sound ik. And if you're directing your question for a group of people, it doesn't matter if it was male or female, you add ku. To have kifak for male kifek for female kifku for plural and this is how you say how are you in Levantine now the second way is to ask actually about the situation of the person so you say kifil hal kif means how Il, as we've studied before, is a definition tool and it means the. And it's there mostly for grammatical reasons. And the word hal means situation. Kifil hal. Now another way to ask about the news of the person, so you say, Shu il akhbar. Shu is a question tool and it means what. Il again is the. And the word akhbar means news. Shu al akhbar. What's the news? Or what's up? Now we need to learn the answers. All of the previously mentioned questions can answered in more than one way. And I will teach you four ways today. The first one is simply to say tamam, which actually means good or perfect. You can also say alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah is related to Islam religion, which means thank God, and we use it a lot. Another one which mostly used with the Jordanian or the Palestinian accent by saying Kwayis if a male was talking Kwayse if a female was talking And both of them means good Another way to say good but mostly in Syrian or Lebanese accent is to say Minih, if a male was talking. Niha, if a female was talking. Now, the same concept that we have applied on the greetings video part 2 to say hello, we can actually do it again in here. By mixing and doubling our answers to show excitement that we're seeing the person. So, what we can say actually is, Tamam, alhamdulillah. Or you can say, Tamam, kuayis. 
Of course, if a female was talking, you should say Tamam, kuwaise. Another option is to say Alhamdulillah, mnih. And of course, for female, you say Alhamdulillah, mniha. If you would like to redirect that question that has been just asked to you, simply use the letter wa, which means and at the beginning, then add to it the pronouns to say you, for male and female, as well the plural. If you are talking to a male, you say inta. Wa inta kifak. And you, how are you? To say you in female, you say inti. Wa inti kifik. And you, how are you? If you are talking to a group of people, you say into. And that means you in plural. Wa into kifku. And you, how are you? You can as well simply just say Wa inta or Wa inti or Wa intu. It just simply means and you. Now listen very carefully and try to practice after me. Kifak. كويس الحمد لله وانت كيفك انا منيحه الحمد لله تمام وانت كيفك تمام تمام and that's it don't forget to practice it really really good and of course enjoy practicing see you in the next video